The English electric Type 3B shunter has its origins in a centre cab battery electric locomotive built by the Midland Railway in 1914 and a similar centre cab machine built for the North Staffordshire Railway in 1917. The first of these handy English electric shunters appeared in 1920, built by Dick Kerr and Company of Preston on behalf of its parent organisation, English Electric. Others would be later assembled by the Bagley Drury Car Company of Burton-upon-Trent. They were built for a variety of gauges and could be operated by battery power from overhead line equipment using a pantograph or trolley poles, or both. At least 34 of them were built, of which works number 1378 was built by Dick Kerr and Company for the South Wales Electric Power Company's generating station at Upper Boat. Ordered in December 1944 and delivered on the 24th of August 1945, it was built to operate from both batteries and a pantograph at 500 volts DC. The pantograph was used around the generating station but the batteries were resorted to when shunting on the Great Western Railway Exchange sidings, for which reason the locomotive was registered with the Great Western Railway. It has two 54 horsepower traction motors and standard English electric switch and control gear, including the Z4 type controller. It has both hand and regenerative braking. The builder's manual suggests it is capable of moving loads of up to 275 tonnes on the level at 4.8 miles per hour. 1378 worked at Upper Boat until it was made redundant in the early 1970s. It then found a home at Backath the Bank power station Bolton, where it operated on battery power alone. It was the first locomotive to work at Backath Bank as a steam engine supplied in 1951 had proved unsuitable and that subsequently went to work at Agecroft Power Station in Salford in 1954. 1378 entered preservation in 1978 when it moved to Liverpool Road Station in Manchester as part of the early preservation efforts there by the Liverpool Road Station Society. The locomotive travelled on the main line from Bolton, hauled by a Class 40 diesel and sandwiched between two BR brake vans. It was the first rail vehicle to operate at what would become the Science and Industry Museum in Manchester following abandonment of the site by British Railways. At the museum it saw very regular use as a shunter and as a standby Thunderbird locomotive to rescue demonstration steam trains. The English electric Type 3 B shunters are characterful handy little locomotives. They're easy to drive with excellent visibility and plenty of power. They are, to coin a phrase, really useful engines. <laughs>